Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, we will going to discuss about Terraform command, uh, which is Terraform workspace. So let's say you have uh, some TF file. Uh, so that TF file has a definition to create a couple of uh, AWS resources. So uh, you decide that like uh, the same resources are like the same infrastructure should be there in uh, three different environments. Like let's say in your project, you have dev environments, QA environment and production environment. So you need to create same infrastructure in all the environments. So in that case, what you want to do? So as we know, uh, when we create, when we uh, execute Terraform uh, commands, so it will gonna create a state file. So that like well, you can't create the same things. Like uh, now when you do Terraform apply, so obviously it will create a Terraform file. And uh, so when you do some changes, it will be applied on those it will just compare it with your state file and the real resources and then it will gonna apply so if you want to do so so then you might delete a terraform uh, state file and run it across uh, different environments if that is not so you need to create, take the same tf file uh, create new folders and keep this tf file and run it multiple times and uh, respect you to each uh, environment you'll have one folder so if you think so this is like uh, repetitive work right the same file but uh, just to logically uh, separate the state file you are taking multiple folders and you are running in multiple places so when you consider the terraform workspace concept wherein like uh, in one folder only so you are just logically segregating your state file that's it so you're gonna use the same folder to create the resources in multiple environments but you're doing a, a logical segregation of your state file so maybe like once I show it, show, show a demo on that, you will get a clear picture about that. So let's get onto my uh, mission. So I'm gonna execute uh, this Terraform thing. So this is a simple Terraform again, I'm just taking here. So I'm just configuring back uh, S3 as my backend. As you can see, this is the backend. It is gonna store my TF state file. And also, so I'm creating a VPC subnet. So security group. This is the simple one I've used in my previous videos too. So the same uh, Terraform file I'm using here as well. So this I have already cloned out of my machine. So as you can see, just to confirm, I'm just doing a cat on ec 2 creationtf The same thing I'm doing it here. So now, so as I said, like, so I have three environments. So by using this Terraform workspace, so we can create a uh, workspace individual workspaces and then we can do execute our terraform apply command there so that like each environment will have tf state and also i'll just show you like in s3 bucket so how the environments are like uh for per environment how the folder is created and all so so let's get on to uh, the demo now uh, now i'm already there here so now by default we'll have one workspace that is uh the name of that workspace is default to see that so we need to type in terraform workspace list when you execute this command you can see all the available workspaces now as of now i have only default so if you want to create any new workspace if you know git github so it, it is kind of like branch you can say branch which maintains like it is used to basically maintain this uh, terraform state file okay to create a new uh, workspace the command is terraform workspace and new you need to give the name so let's assume i'm giving dev and then now uh, it is going to automatically create a workspace and it will be pointed to that workspace to see currently which workspace we are pointing to. So then the command for that is Terraform workspace and uh, show Terraform workspace show. It will gonna show what is the current workspace that you have pointed to. Okay, so now let me open AWS uh, console too. So now I'm in uh, AWS console. This is my console. So I've configured this particular S3 bucket as my backend. So when I open now, so as you can see, there is an environment folder. When I click on this, see, uh, you will be able to see a dev folder. So basically, whatever the workspace name that we have given there, it will go and create one folder here. Okay. So now if I go and if I create something like a Terraform 
Terraform workspace. And if I just create a new one, like assume like I'm just creating a QA. So now I'm pointed to QA uh, workspace. And when I refresh my S3 bucket here, I should be able to see one more uh, folder here, which is of name QA. Whatever you have given here, right? It will gonna create the same name with uh, the folder name with the same whatever you have given here. So now when you click inside this, you'll be able to see the T uh, Terraform T state file. Okay, so now what we will do is I'll gonna create all the resources which I may have, which I have mentioned in this EC2 creation.tf. Terraform apply. So when I do this one, it will gonna create all the resources that I've mentioned it in this particular EC2 creation.tf. So now it will take a couple of seconds to create that. So once that is done, we can see what are all, what are all the things that it has been created. So if you have uh, seen my previous videos, I have explained that um, there is a command uh, Terraform state by using which we can list out the things uh, what has been created from this folder. And uh, so we can list out what are all the resources uh, which has been created. So it is taking little time to create because I have a S3 bucket to create an EC2 machine to create. So, so that's the reason it is taking a little time. So now it has succeeded. And now, so when I uh, go here and check out uh, EC2, I should be able to see one, one EC2. Okay. And now when I go here and uh, when I just type in the command, there are form. Terraform state and uh, when I do list, so I should be able to see all EC2, S3 bucket, security group, subnet, VPC. So when I go back to, if I want to select any other workspace now, so when I just type in Terraform work space show, I'll be able to see uh, I'm currently pointed to QA workspace. Let's say I want to check like what are all the workspaces which are available. Okay, when I do list, so I'll be able to see what environments I have, basically what workspaces I have. If you want to point to dev, so then you can select, select dev. When you execute this one, now you will be there in a dev workspace. Now when I execute Terraform state list, you won't be able to see any resources. This, because in this workspace, I didn't create any any of the resources. So that's the reason it is not showing any output because if you see here, so this is where I was in QA workspace. I did apply Terraform apply. And uh, so then after that, when I see my uh, Terraform state list, so I'll be able to see these instances. So as you can see, this is kind of a logical segregation of your t-state files. So when you're dealing with multiple environments, you can make use of um, this workspace concept, Terraform workspace concept and you can create your uh, infrastructure very efficiently. So now, so let's create, a, a, just a create a, one particular resource because I have, when I do Terraform apply, it will fail because it can't create S3 bucket with the same name because S3 is a global, global uh, service wherein uh, the name should be very unique. Uh, so that's the reason it will gonna fail. So that's why what I'll do is, uh, let me create only this VPC. Okay, I have one VPC, right? So I'm gonna do that. So when now, uh, as we are already seen, so we are in dev workspace. So I'm gonna execute Terraform. Uh, Terraform apply and in one of my previous video, I've shown uh, how to execute uh, a particular resource or if you want to execute a particular module, this is the option that you need to use. iPhone target is equals to and then I need to give what resource I'm creating and the name of that resource, the block, the name of that block I need to give. So in my case, it is default. And now when I execute it, so it will gonna create. So we can see quickly, we can go out and we can see uh, VPC. So when I see now, so now it should have uh, two VPCs. One is by default, AWS will create. And I've created by using uh, my Terraform. So I should be able to see that one and uh, one the default one, which is created by AWS. 
now again i'm creating a new one right so to make sure so i had two vpcs as a count so now as you can see two vpcs are there so this is one which is created by my terraform script now again what i'll do i'll just give s and when i click on um, enter so it will going to create vpc as you can see from the logs so now when i refresh vpc tab here so you will be able to see one more vpc here and also when i execute terraform uh, so as you can see now what well, two has been created so this is one this is one if you just compare it whatever the ipv4 cicdr block have given which is the same but to in my case i don't have different environments so that's the reason i'm just assuming like i'm creating it here itself but um, in actual projects you'll have different different accounts or different different uh, maybe logical segregation of your uh, vpcs or many concepts they can use so so i'm just using for the demo so the same account and uh, i'm creating here itself and now when i execute terraform terraform uh, state list so i'll be able to see only vpc because i am there in uh, dev workspace right so that's the reason you will be able to see only vpc so now let's say assume like uh, so i have uh, uh, done i'm done with this uh, workspace i want to delete it i want to delete this workspace so you you can delete the workspace as well so before that what i'll do is i'll do terraform dest try so once this destroy is done so i'll going to delete this particular uh, workspace so currently i was in um, dev right i'll going to delete that one so to make sure i am in dev so what i'll do is terraform workspace so okay now i want to delete this one right if i'm there in this workspace i won't be able to delete it so i need to first change to other brand, other workspace work space and i'll going to select qa okay when i do this one i'll be switch to a uh, qa workspace now i can go ahead and i can delete that one era from workspace space and i can delete dev so now dev workspace will be deleted now when i do a uh, terraform workspace list i won't be able to see that um, dev workspace and also when i refresh my uh, aws um, s3 bucket where i was storing my uh, backend.tf there also one folder should be taken off so this was my backend right so when i go to environments and uh, i won't be able to see that dev dev uh, oh. i have created dev workspace right so which i have deleted so the folder in backend also deleted okay this is also when you have a um, couple of environment so wherein you want to create the same infrastructure so rather than creating different folders or uh, rather than deleting and create it again 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 and again so you can make use of this workspace concept and you can create and you can manage your uh, uh, environments Uh, in an effective manner so that's it for this video if you like the video please share and subscribe thank you have a good day